loves dolphins. She's lovable, she's energetic. Of course, her story has inspired so many people each and every day. The winner's story is unique, um, but it doesn't go into the details of how determined she is. She survived um, the unsurvivable and has been here with us for almost 12 years. And oh, <laughs> she's a rescued dolphin. Yeah, I hear you talking about it. I hear you. <laughs> time do we have? Because I could, <laughs> I honestly could talk about the rescue scene for days. I think the scene on the beach with Sawyer and Winter when they first see each other is the pinnacle of what Dolphin Tail and CMA stands for. It really is everything that they strive to be and that's rescue and, 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 and to rehab. I think as kids, like 12 year olds, we're trying to figure out what our passion is, right? And it's really frustrating if we don't know it. Everyone else is doing, you know, sports or they're reading a ton. And Sawyer just didn't seem like he had that. He didn't have that passion. And then in that instance, when he frees Winter from the crab trap and he just interacts with her, he realizes he found his passion. Helping people, helping animals. I have met so many kids who have been inspired by Winter, knowing that Winter's helped them and now they're inspiring other people and helping oh other God. people, which is, is, is so cool. And that's the impact that Winter has. It's it, like I said, a, a domino effect. Winter's helped somebody and inspired somebody, and now all they want to do is help other people as well. So Abby, we're sitting here watching the inspiring real life footage of Winter being rescued December 10, 2005. This is the first time anybody ever saw her and this is the rescue team, our partner rescue team going out. They're going to see something amazing in a few minutes. What are they thinking right now in your mind? Well, just watching what's happening right now, it's making my adrenaline go up because I know they're trying to get to the scene as quickly as possible. They have to get all their equipment and supplies out there and they just need to figure out what's going on. They know there's a baby dolphin and, and, and she's in distress. And there it is, the first Thank shot you. ever of one of the dolphin. Jim Savage, a fisherman, found her like five hours before. She's been in the water for a number of hours yeah, at this point. This is not happening right now. She's already in the water for a number of hours. Yeah. We got a report of this animal at 9.30 this morning, and the injuries that she has are due to a crab pot, crab pot entanglement with a rope. So it basically was dragging through the corners of her mouth and also caused her some abrasions around her body from being wrapped up in the rope. Time is of the essence and they need to come up with a plan as quickly as possible. And then they see this, which is the first shot of her tail flukes being damaged by the crab trap rope. So you know the story they're after, but when you're watching this right now, what would you have been thinking looking at that as far as the odds of her doing well? I mean, obviously it looked really bad, to be honest. Uh, I've never seen an injury uh, to that extent and I would know that it would be a very long recovery if it was even possible at all. So. But it is one of the dolphin. Yes. And she's, she knows how to get things done and never gives up. Yeah, and yeah. She's, she's an amazing animal. And just seeing her right now, just how small she is and how fragile she is, the fact that she's come so far just is a, an, an amazing feeling. Because you're talking about a really young animal and the chances yeah. for an animal like that to survive. But on top of that, she's got some serious problems. So as you watch Winter right now, you know her better than anybody. What, how does this make you feel just as Abby Stone? Well, obviously it pulls on my heartstrings, but I, uh, I feel really good overall just knowing how far she's come and getting an opportunity just to see her in that state, knowing that today she's thriving and doing so well. I mean, when I look at her, she just is, she still has those really sweet eyes. And I know that she's not good right now, but in a very short period of time, she's gonna be here at CMA yeah. and we're gonna be getting right. her on the road to recovery. So it's amazing just to watch her, uh, you know, winner's a fighter, we know her fighting personality, but she was doing it from day one. Yep. You didn't have to teach her that. That's kind of what she's about, and she's doing that right now. And you see it when they put her in the stretcher, the way she moves and kind of struggles a little bit, and you do want to see that. And we saw that when we, yeah, we saw that when we got her in the pool, even here at CNN. That was a winner attitude, right? Like, I'm still in charge. Yeah, that's right. I got, I got this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She refused to give up, so they put her in a, uh, a stretcher, which is uh, as high tech as we get in transport the animals, but it's how we do it. Yeah, it works effectively. Safest way, and then she, here it is right here. So it's amazing to watch this right now and re realizing she's gonna leave the world of animals and be forever in the hands of humans that will now care for her. And of course, you've been doing that for many, many years. Her last time ever in the wild right now. And she'll be in our hands very, very soon. 
about a four hour drive to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Yep. And you were there that night. Yep, I mean, those transports aren't easy either for yeah. those animals. Four yeah. hours is, is kind of a long period of time, but yeah. she did really well. Uh, the odds are she wouldn't live at this point in time. The odds are she would not even survive. But it's winter, right? It is. It's winter the dolphin, so inspiring, inspiring dolphin. So there you go, first day, the rescue of winter the dolphin. Heading to Clearwater Marine Aquarium and in, into the hands of Abby Stone in a couple hours. There you go. It makes me feel amazed that we were able to accomplish something so significant that would impact so many people's lives. And it's all odds. Yeah, and it just started this one day. I mean, it just. It, so many things had to happen for us to be where we are today that it just amazes me that everything has turned out so well. Has winter or another animal inspired you or someone you know? Share the story with us for a chance to be featured by Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And tune in next week for episode two, Winter Survives the First Night. I was just in a lot of pain. And then my mom came out in the dolphin tail. Watched it and I just loved it. And I thought, I had to meet this dolphin. I thought that'd be really cool to go see an animal like that that could share an experience like that with me.